Should we get to work? Or do we still need more snagnets? Look! Jaguars! Limburger must have put them there. This must be the first of the five bottomless pits of doom. Right! We need to seal these pits in order to rescue those jaguars and set up the ancient Numerian Mathra trap. But how do we do it? You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too. By building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you, purple snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have purple snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words are opposites. He means antonyms. Right, words that have opposite meanings. Like little and big. Start by picking up a bridge stone and placing it on the light bridge. Begin. Ah, good. Now, if you can't decide what to do with a bridge stone, either place it on the tray below me or store it in an empty space on my bridge. Well done. Now, if you cannot read a word, take my scepter and place it over the word. Then I will read the word to you. Better think carefully. Every time we move a bridgestone, we use up one snagnet. Did it. Whoa. Whoa! The Jaguars can cross! Let's get out of here. We have four more pits to seal. Now that we've freed the animals, let's go out the way we came and get to work on the next pit. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you green snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have green snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. 
Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words have almost the same meaning. He means synonyms. Right. Two different words that mean almost the same thing. Like little and small. is complete. Whoa. Whoa! The foxes can cross. Let's go. We have three more bridges to build. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you red snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have red snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is Place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words are in the same category. Like red and yellow are both in the same category. Because they're both color words. I get it. Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two words touch, the two words are in the same category. Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two
two words touch. The two words are in the same category. If you don't know what to do with a bridge stone, either place it on the tray below me or store it in an empty space on my bridge. Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two words touch, the two words are in the same category. Ah, good. Now, if... We can move a bridge stone into place only if we have snagnets. Let's grab the correct snagnets out of the backpack and put them on the ground. Then we can get to work. Okay, now what do we do? Well done. Now, if you cannot read a word, take my scepter and place it over the word. Then I will read the word to you. We better think carefully. Every time we move a bridgestone, we use up one snagnet. All our bridge stones are in place. Whoa. Whoa! The Pumas can cross. Two more pits and the Mathra trap will be reset. Now that we've freed the animals, let's go out the way we came and get to work on the next pit. You can rebuild the Mathra trap and save the animals too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you blue snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have blue snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yup, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words sound the same. He means homophones. Right. Words that are spelled differently but sound the same. Uh, oh, yeah. Like here as in here I am and here as in I hear you.
We're out of snagnets. Do we have any more snagnets in the backpack? Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? Yes, we solved the puzzle. Whoa. Whoa! The otters can cross. One more pit to seal and we'll stop that Limburger for good. Uncle Horace! Dr. Pythagoras! Kids, Lap Trap, I'm so glad you're all right. We're here to rescue you, sir. If you seal this last pit, not only will I be rescued, but the Numerian Mathra Trap will be set and will stop Limburger for good. You can rebuild the Mathra Trap and save your uncle, too by building five bridges out of stones which I will give to you. But to move the bridge stones I give you, golden snagnets you'll need. Only if you have them will I allow you to proceed. Do we have gold snagnets? Let's look in the backpack. Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? I will give you bridge stones like this one. One stone at a time. Now take heed. Notice that each bridge stone has two words. Each bridge has a different rule for how to use those words. The rule for this bridge is place the bridge stones so that whenever two words touch, the two words are both words that can be used as nouns, or both words that can be used as pronouns. Hmm. A noun is a word that names a person, place, or thing. Like girl. Or city. Or robot. And a pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. Like he. Or her. Or it. When a bridge stone has a blank, you may place that blank next to any word. Remember, place the bridge stones on my bridge so that whenever two words touch, the two words are both words that can be used as nouns or both words that can be used as pronouns. We're out of snagnet. Do we have any more snagnets in the backpack? Yep, I see some snagnets we can use. Let's grab them and put them on the ground here. Okay, now what do we do? Wow, the last bridge is built! Whoa! Whoa. Kids! Uncle Horace! What's that? 
The bridge is transforming itself. It's becoming invisible. Look out! It's Master! It's Lambert! <laughs> I'll give those kids something to really be scared of. Really bottomless, Uncle Horace? You know, I don't know. You kids did great! Yeah, what an adventure we had! I'm sure gonna miss you guys. Oh, no you're not. Kids, as a reward for saving the rainforest, I'm giving Lap Trap to you. What? Wait, oh, no. no. That means you can come with us on our next adventure. Oh my, you mean more excitement? Yeah! More danger? Yeah! And more monsters? Yeah! Ooh. Hey, he fainted. He's a computer. Maybe he crashed. So what do we do? Splash him with cold water? Call tech support? Ooh, where's the reset button? <laughs> I'll get those kids yet. They haven't heard the last of Fletcher Q. Limburger. Fearful, they did not know what to do. So they dropped him underground, then they cut the key in two. For a thousand years he slumbered, now he's risen up to feast. The whole rainforest sings this chorus. Find the key and bag the beast. Do you believe in monsters? Rising from the gloom, do you believe our Requisition. If you're not good at addition, then we're doomed. Do you believe in monsters rising from the grave? Do you believe our humble supplication? Use multiplication and we're saved.